Three major retailers now plan to phase out paint stripping products containing a potentially deadly chemical. Health authorities believe strippers with toxic methylene chloride have claimed dozens of lives. After a CBS News investigation, Home Depot, Sherwin-Williams, and Lowe's all say they're going to stop selling those products by the end of the year. Anna Warner has investigated this story for months. Anna, you had that story here first. It looks like things are changing. Good morning. Things definitely are changing. It's very interesting. Now, EPA scientists, as we've told you, have said that this chemical poses an unreasonable risk, but products containing methylene chloride have been sold to consumers for years. We've told you how victims, usually young men, have died after doing things like stripping paint off a car, for example. Those families have been pushing for action not only at the EPA, but at the retail level. We reached out to those three companies planning to stop the sale of these products now by the end of the year. Lowe's says it wants to bring safer, affordable options to customers. Home Depot also says it wants to improve health and environmental safety for products. And Sherwin-Williams says it also has effective alternatives that do not contain methylene chloride. There was a lot of concern that the EPA would not uphold its planned ban on this chemical. Activists now say they are cautiously optimistic uh, to the idea that that will happen. But that's going to take much longer. And in the meantime, families say they are not willing to wait and watch more people die. Uh, these deaths can happen really quickly. Well, remind us the story you've told of, of people who've died using this. So typically what happens is, you know, you go to a store and you buy a can of paint stripper. You're going to strip paint off a car or off furniture, something like that. If you use it indoors, um, your life can be at risk in an enclosed space because you really need so much more ventilation than in a normal situation. You actually need, in some enclosed spaces, you need a piece of equipment that forces oxygen into your face with a tube running out this way. Well, consumers don't have that. And people are unaware of the danger because you just buy it off the shelf, um, a lot of people don't read labels, yeah. um, and even well, if no, you do, this, the labels can be confusing. I think they're certainly paying attention now. Thank you, Anna. Thank you very much.